finding the right words if I'm stressed especially about something. It's a bit difficult sometimes to know how to pray. Sometimes it's too stressful to pray at that moment. And then um, I remember the Bible says sometimes you don't know how to pray. Maybe the Spirit helps you in praying. So yeah, I think that's, that's real. I, I thought about this and I think I would, I would imagine it's the same for most people, but it's quite hard to talk to someone you can't physically see and touch. Um, you know, if you've got a, you're praying with your partner or a, a friend, you can have a hug, you can see them, you can see their expression on their face. You, you're talking to someone you can't see, but then we have to realise that there's more to this life than meets the eye. and. God promises in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we know he's there. And as our faith develops, you have to overcome those feelings of, oh, I can't see you, I can't feel you. And the other thing about that's hard about prayer is we all want instant answers. And of course, they don't come that quick. Sometimes we have to wait for God to get people in the right place at the right time and some things do take time but that's where the patience and perseverance comes in and we have to have bulldog i like to call it bulldog faith you just don't let go no if the if the if god has promised something in this in the, his word and he's it's resonated with you as you've prayed then you have to wait and just trust in him with all your heart and not lean on your own understanding and just be be patient. And I think for people, it's probably the most hardest thing to do is to wait, because we want the relief of answer prayer now, but now isn't always the right time. I think that you don't always get an immediate answer or that you don't sometimes get an answer at all. You know, if I'm talking to my husband and he doesn't respond to me, I'm going to be thinking, what's, what's going on? Why are you talking to me? And it, that is hard to get past, I think, sometimes, especially when you're crying out desperately and you're not getting a response. I think I find that really difficult. But one of the things that I've found is that the more that you pray expectantly and spend time with the Lord, the more that you can i had it explained to me as you tune into the frequency the more that you find that he will respond to more things and probably always was but you just weren't listening very well um so a bible verse will come up that really speaks into the situation or someone will say something that you think why did they say that now that's just such a such a strange thing um, or circumstances will just fall into place in the way that you weren't expecting or things that were really playing on your heart will just be resolved. So I think the more that you pray and listen expectantly, the more that you do hear. Sometimes when, when it's a big prayer and it's relating to me personally, I feel a bit selfish. You know, there's far more important things that God could be dealing with than me. Um, so I do find it hard to pray for myself because of that. Um, how about you? I, I find um, praying for healing is difficult because of what happened to Sheila. Mm. So I'm, I, I, you're much better at it than I am. Uh, and. Um,